This is Ling270, Language, Technology, and Society. In this module, we are exploring the question, how does writing as a form of language technology represent language? In this video, we are going to examine this question in the context of two Semitic writing systems. We're going to ask, how do the Arabic and Hebrew writing systems encode language? Our learning objectives are to identify what linguistic information are encoded in the Arabic and Hebrew writing systems. The Arabic writing system is an abjad. The Hebrew writing system is also an abjad. What does that mean? The Arabic and Hebrew writing systems are each abjads. In an abjad, each symbol, each letter, represents one consonant. In each of these systems, the acrophonic principle is used to establish the name for each letter. The original Arabic and Hebrew systems would have each only represented consonants. At later points in their development, optional diacritic symbols came in to be used to mark vowels. These symbols developed later, and in many typical cases, most of these diacritic symbols would not be typically used. The apocryphonic principle, remember, says that we'll use the sound at the beginning of a word to represent that symbol as its name. From the ancient Egyptian writing system eventually came the Phoenician writing system. From Phoenician later came the Aramaic writing system. And from the Aramaic writing system came Arabic and, separately, Hebrew. These writing systems came from Phoenician and then from Aramaic and are all abjads. Arabic and Hebrew are abjads. These are writing systems that are phonographic and represent consonants. So we have the Arabic abjad and the Hebrew abjad. Let's look at the symbols in these systems. So these symbols, this table, was taken from Wikipedia. We first see the Egyptian hieroglyphs that later developed into proto semiotic symbols in the proto semiotic abjad, representing consonants, and then into the Phoenician abjad, still representing just consonants. And from Phoenician developed the Imperial Aramaic writing system. The Hebrew writing system developed from the Aramaic symbols, and you can see here the similarities. Separately, Aramaic symbols developed into Arabic symbols. Also, the similarity can be seen here. Let's look at some of the names. We'll take Hebrew as an example. So the first four letters are Adaf, Bet, Gimel, and Dalet. These are very related to the names that we saw back when we were looking at the Phoenician letter names. So to summarize, we're looking at how Arabic and Hebrew writing encode language. 
they do so by representing the consonant sounds of the language. That's what it means to be an abjad, a writing system where you just represent consonants. Arabic and Hebrew writing systems are abjads. An abjad is a writing system where symbols represent consonants. The Arabic writing system and the Hebrew writing system each give names to letters. This is done using the acrophonic principle. Earliest ver versions of Arabic and Hebrew did not mark vowels, but later optional diacritic symbols were developed that could be used to mark vowels. These developed later and are typically not always used.